What's up everybody, Doug here with Leaving the Dream. As of May 13th, 2021, seven people have agreed to testify against Mike Miske and his enterprise. And this video is number three in a series of videos I'm doing that outline and discuss those facts as laid out by those seven people who turned government witness against Miske and his enterprise. I'm gonna do these in the order in which they made the plea agreements to make it easier. This video in particular is about one Catherine Zapata. We talked about her in the last video. If you missed the first video on Joan Ortiz, you can just click on this banner up here. And if you missed video number two about Timothy Taboada, who was Catherine Zapata's housemate, you can go back and watch it by clicking up here. Lastly, I wanna say mahalo to Ian Lind for his article, which I used as the source of my information for this video. The link to that article can be found in the description below so you can read it for yourself. Let's get into it. Video number three, Catherine Zapata. She is charged with drug trafficking for her involvement in the crimes I'm about to talk about. As a part of her plea agreement, Catherine Zapata admitted that from at least March 2018 until August 14th, I believe, 2018, she helped Timothy Tabuata prepare and sell drugs from their co-place residence in the Mopunahala area of Kaneohe, Hawaii. On March 17, 2018, federal agents monitoring Tabuata's phone calls overheard him tell Zapata to bag up 7.8 grams of crystal meth into two bags for some regular customer named Steve. And then on March 21, 2018, Zapata drove Tabuata to Laie to buy 110 grams of crystal meth worth $2,400 from his supplier. Unbeknownst to them, that dude was a federal informant, so now they're in trouble. So for these crimes, on November 7, 2019, Zapata was charged with federal drug trafficking, and she's facing a minimum of 10 years in prison for her crimes. So Jake Smith is technically the fourth person to, cur to turn government witness against Mike Miske and his enterprises. He's facing racketeering and conspiracy to distribute meth charges. He's currently in federal custody facing life in prison, but I already did a video about his plea agreement, and you can find that up here. In my next video, I will be discussing Wayne Miller. He is the fifth person to turn government witness against Mike Miske and his enterprise. For that video, you can just click right here. And if you haven't watched my original video about Mike Miske and the Miske Enterprises, you can click on the video right here. I want to say thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate the support. And until the next time, aloha.